Well, you know, right, so I think about this, and, and I don't want to—I don't want to kill this point, but like I think a lot about this when when I think about um, the critics of Doug Wilson, and I think to myself, like, okay, so you 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 love Luther. Most of these guys love Luther. They think he's a great guy because it's hard not to when you're a Christian, right? He did great things and whatever. But like, think about what Luther believed, right? Like, like you can love Luther and appreciate what what Luther did. And have strong disagreements with Luther's theology, which in some ways is weirder than Doug Wilson's, even in the worst case scenario of Doug Wilson. So it's like, so so why can't we apply the same thing with someone who's alive, right? Because Luther's dead now, so like I guess he's safer, right? But that's what it is. But 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 why why not apply the same uh, standards to Doug, where it's like you don't like this about his theology? Yeah, he said something weird about baptism here. I don't like it. Well, you know, Luther believed weird things about baptism too, but you you celebrate him, you know, it's like, so it's like, I just, you know, one of the things, and, and and I readily admit this all the time, so this is no revelation, but one of the things that I think influenced me good about looking into federal vision, I'm not a federal visionist myself, but one of the things I think is good about it is how it really tries to give as big a tent of Christianity as possible with, without, without being faithless, without with still being faithful though. So it's like, mm-hmm. I can disagree with you on some major things, but I, I still think you're a brother, right? You know, you're baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to treat you like a brother unless you've been excommunicated, unless you're denying the faith, you know, I'm going to treat you like a brother. And I, I think that's actually a very positive thing within federal vision, um, which just should be within Christianity, frankly, in my opinion, but, mm-hmm. you know, I'll just say that. And, 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 you know, I, anyway, I think I, I yeah, think no, I that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is isn't that ironic? You know, because I think a lot of the flack that you know Doug would get is that you know that he's harsh or that he's you know that he's too narrow. It's, um, when it's the reality so weird. is like, right? When the reality is like the guy's it, what you're basically expressing is he's he's so ecumenical. It makes me and AD a little bit uncomfortable. We're like, I don't. Yeah. Uh, right. Like like so. Some of our listeners, if you're wondering what we're talking about. Go and watch the debate between James White and Doug James Wilson White on and Baptist. Him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so Doug is literally his position is he's defending the legitimacy of a Catholic baptism. Right, they're um, brothers. That's what he says. <laughs> right, he's like, yeah, and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> sir. You know, and and he's defending right. it on the basis of saying, but they're baptized into the name of the Triune God, Father, Son, right. and Holy Spirit. Whereas I would say that's not enough, right? So I, I would say. You know, I believe that the agent in baptism is the church, right? So it's not a minister baptizing you, it's not the pastors baptizing you, and it's not the individual baptizing yourself. Um, and then, you know, some of the super reformed guys, yeah, the agent in baptism is God. God is baptizing you. And um, no, you know, like it's a, it is a covenantal ceremonial. God is a, a ceremony. God is saying something in baptism, through baptism. Uh, but there is actually a human agency that is representative of, of God uh, that is doing the baptizing. And I believe it's the church. Church. And the reason why I say it's the church is because I, I don't believe that you have to be an officer in the church, an elder or a deacon to baptize. So I'm 1689. I'm a Reformed Baptist. I would hold to the, the LBC, Second London Baptist Confession of Faith, uh, to the T. And when it comes to baptism, you don't have to be an ordained officer of the church in order to baptize. Um, and so I believe that ultimately, whether it's a member of the church, a deacon in the church, an elder in the church, I think ordinarily elders should do this. Um, but uh, the bottom line is it's it's not an individual one-off thing, you know, in, in my backyard in a pool, right? Some families, you know, during COVID, well, we're gonna, just going to baptize our seven-year-old daughter. I, w- I would strongly, um, strongly counsel against that. I would say, no, wait. Right. Um, you need to gather with the church and you really don't need to wait. You probably should leave your church because they're not gathering and go to another church that is, you know, but but gather with the church and and it's a, it's a communal, covenantal, and public act. It's when faith goes public. And so anyways, I would say the agent that's baptizing is the church, which means it's not just the words. I, you know, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're buried with him in baptism and raised to walk into, it's not just the words, right? It's not just the hocus pocus, you know, words. No, it's, it's the agent that's baptizing is the church. And if the church is not a gospel preaching church, then I, you know, then I'm going to call into question the legitimacy of the baptism, not because the words in in that moment of the baptism were wrong, not because they baptized you into the name of some other god, but the church is the the baptizing agent, and this church wouldn't know the gospel 
if it slapped him upside the left side <laughs> of the head. And that's how I feel about the Roman Catholic Church. And so Let I would, I would agree Joel, with James I, White. <laughs> how I feel right now is often how I feel sometimes when I'll teach Sunday school at my church. I go to a Baptist church, but I'm Presbyterian. Okay. And so I, I feel like the congregation regularly just says, oh, AD is teaching today. I'm going to ask him about baptism. So what I always do is I look to my pastor and say, pastor, you want to take this one? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. how I feel right. right now, but that's okay. Uh, We're good. So, <laughs> so, what would you, so, so the only thing I feel like you could disagree with is what I'm, the language that I'm using, the agent in baptism. Yeah. yeah. So how, I, how would, I, how would you I, verbalize that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'd love to hear well, it. Well, 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 I would, I would, I, I, I think that, um, I, I, I would, I would say that, uh, that, that the, the 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 triune God is the one active in baptism, um, but this is this is so technical. Let's talk about Doug and move okay. on from this. All right. All right. Okay, <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, I, so yeah, okay. I think God is saying something in baptism. I think the church is His representative, but the church has to faithfully sure. hold the gospel. Would you? Would uh, let me ask this? Would you have agreed with James White though in that particular debate? Uh, no. So you'd be down. So baptizing the Catholic Church, you're good to go. I think you're good to go. Yeah, I, I don't think that it's <laughs> okay. good. To, it's it's not good to be Catholic. I don't think you need to be. Re so if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna you know reject Roman Catholicism and join I don't know say a Presbyterian church, I don't think you need to be rebaptized. Gotcha, gotcha. But you would encourage somebody to make that transition. Oh, well, 100 percent. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. But the but the baptism is legit. The Catholics, legit, they, they but put you out great be baptisms, just, just <laughs> gospelist doctrine, right? <laughs> <laughs> legitimate baptism. Let's, let's just leave it at legitimate. Okay. All right. Legi okay. Sufficient, <laughs> sufficient baptism, not great baptisms. <laughs> Presbyterians are making baptism great again. Catholics are just sufficient. They just sufficient with them. <laughs> All right. No, that's good, man. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. If so, would you consider supporting this ministry by giving a donation of any amount? You can do so by going to our website, rightresponseministries.com. Let's be frank. Sadly, many evangelical pastors and leaders are serving as nothing more than water carriers for the political left. Just as those in the political left hate you, just like those corporations that are left-leaning hate you, these pastors and evangelical leaders hate you. I know that's a strong, a strong statement to make. I'm aware of that, but it's true. They don't care about your personal liberty. They don't care about your freedom. They want you to love your neighbor at the expense of biblical truth, even if it means bearing false witness. That's not us. We're different. We're not the only ones. I don't want to be arrogant. God has reserved a remnant for himself in this time as he has all other ages and all other places, but they are few and far between. It's called a remnant for a reason. We need your help. We want to stand up to tyranny. We want to stand up to this new left totalitarian regime. We want to defend Christians and people, the salt of the earth, who love America and who love God's word. But we can't do it without your help. If you're not prepared or able to give a financial gift, one way that you can support this ministry is by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell so that you'll be notified as we come out with new content. You can also help us by sharing our content on all your social media platforms so that more people can hear the truth of God's word with courage and fidelity. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.